Last updated 2,230, September 17, 2017. Alan Joyce's donation is about half of his annual base pay of $2.1 million and about 8% of his total remuneration last year of $13 million. Qantas boss Alan Joyce is putting his money where his mouth is and making a personal donation of $1 million, $1.1 million to the Yes campaign for same-sex marriage. The Australian Financial Review understands Joyce's donation is the largest individual contribution so far to the Yes campaign but it is believed two or three other business leaders have also pledged sizable donations. Joyce and his airline have been long-time supporters of marriage equality but the company policy is not to spend shareholders' money on the campaign. The personal donation is about half of Joyce's annual base pay of $2.1 million and about 8% of his total remuneration last year of $13 million, a total that reflects a significant escalation of Qantas' share price. Read more Australia posts out ballots in same-sex marriage survey Australia's highest court approves government's same-sex marriage survey Qantas declined to comment but Joyce, who is unhappy with the postal survey but accepts it cannot be stopped, gave notice last month while announcing the airline's full-year results that he was going to dig deep to fight for marriage equality. I personally will be donating money to the campaign, a significant amount, because I'm passionate about it. He'll be spending as much time as the campaign wants me to speak about the cause and why this is important, he said. A survey found 65% of Australian voters said they were certain to participate in the survey and of those, 70% said they would vote for change. Joyce has been criticised for using his company to promote change but he argued corporations should be vocal on social issues. We are vocal on gender equality issues, indigenous issues and on LGBTI issues. That's what good businesses do. They're part of society. They help promote societal changes. They help promote what's good for our people. Both sides of the marriage equality debate are claiming they risk being out-financed by the other. Recently, the Yes campaign was complaining the pledged donations from individuals in the corporate sector amounted to only $100,000 while the No campaign was receiving funds from churches and evangelical groups. No campaign spokesman Lyle Shelton disputed this but said the campaign would welcome all donations, big and small. Just in the last few weeks since we officially launched Coalition for Marriage, thousands of new donors from all across Australia have come to our website not only to donate, but to volunteer and sign up for more information, Shelton told the Financial Review. While we would obviously welcome larger donations from those individuals or institutions capable of assisting our campaign, the majority of our donations are from ordinary Australians contributing less than $100 each, and we are incredibly grateful to them. Their contributions are not only the backbone of Coalition for Marriage, but symbolic of who we represent average Australians concerned about the consequences of redefining marriage. Today's campaign is also heavily reliant on small donations from ordinary individuals. Campaigning is expected to intensify after the Australian Bureau of Statistics began mailing out the first of millions of ballot papers last Tuesday for the non-compulsory postal survey. The ballot papers must be returned by November 7 and the result will be announced on November 15 at 11.30 a.m. Opposition leader Bill Shorten used the launch of the postal ballot to again urge advocates for change to put aside the distaste of a postal ballot and to vote. Labour DIDNT think that we should be spending $122 million in taxpayer money just to find out what opinion polls tell us on a regular basis already. We want to have a vote in Parliament, he said. The government was divided so they've come up with this mechanism to have a survey, just to further check what people think. That is as it is, and we say to gay and lesbian and LGBTIQ Australians, that we're sorry that you have to have a separate process for making a decision about you to all other Australians, but please don't be disappointed. Turn that disappointment into determination. The latest Fairfax Ipsos poll released last week found 65% of Australian voters said they were certain to participate in the survey and of those, 70% said they would vote for change. AFR